bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. It was 8 to 6 in the morning. And then we heard a plane come over, and in Manhattan, you don't hear planes too often, especially loud ones. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. On September 11, 2001, four events occurred within an hour and 15 minutes of one another. The first event occurred at 8.45 Eastern Standard Time when American Airlines Flight 11 hit the North Tower of the World Trade Center. And, and then 18 minutes later at 9.03 Eastern Time, United Airlines Flight 175 slammed into the South Tower of the World Trade Center. 9.43, it was reported that American Airlines Flight 77 had hit the Pentagon. And then finally, at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, United Airlines Flight 93 crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Now, unless this is one incredible coincidence, is it not safe to assume that all four of these events are inescapably married to one another? And is it not also safe to assume that if you find one person involved or a party involved with one of these events, they're probably involved in all of them? Well, following this train of thought, since there was no credible claim of responsibility, is it not safe to assume that those involved or those parties involved or agencies or groups that were involved in the events of 9-11 would do anything that they can to obfuscate, distract, or distort or cover up any information that might lead to their discovery? And if that's true, is it not also safe to assume that if you find somebody, a group, an agency, a party that is involved in the obfuscation, distraction, distortion, or cover-up of any information involved in any of the events of 9-11, does it not indicate possible involvement and even guilt in the events of 9-11? The French filmmakers, the Naudet brothers, were in New York City doing a documentary about the New York City firefighters. And this clip is the only known footage of the first plane hitting the first tower. Now this video clip that we've just examined came again from the Naudet Brothers documentary that was being filmed in the streets of New York City on the morning of September 11th. This documentary about the New York City firefighters was going to be assembled at a later date and it was not televised. In fact, there was no live coverage at all of Flight 11 as it hit the North Tower. After all, it was a surprise attack. So if there was no live television coverage of the first plane hitting the first tower, how do we explain the following comment from George Walker Bush? What was the first thing that went through your head when you heard that a plane crashed into the first? Well, I was sitting in a, a schoolhouse in Florida. I'd gone down to tell my little brother what to do. And uh, <laughs> you go ahead and sit down. Just kidding, Jeb. And uh, it's the mother in me. Anyway. Uh, I uh, was sitting there and my chief of staff, well, first of all, when we walked in the classroom, uh, I had seen this uh, plane fly into the first building. There was a TV set on and, and uh, you know, I thought it was pilot error. 
Uh, I had seen this uh, plane fly into the first building. There was a TV set on that would cover live or at all of Flight 11 as it hit the North Tower. Howard Dean recently seemed to muse aloud whether you had advanced knowledge of 9-11. Do you agree or disagree with the RNC that this kind of rhetoric borders on political hate speech? Yeah. Uh, look, there's time for politics. And, uh, you know, it's time for politics. And uh, I, uh, it's an absurd insinuation. On the 11th, it was reported that the passengers of Flight 93 were in the process of overcoming terrorists who had taken over the plane using box cutters. And in the process, the plane crashed in a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Well, if Flight 93 crashed in Shanksville at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, how do we explain the following story that was carried by WCPO-TV Channel 9 in Cincinnati, Ohio? This story was posted on the Internet at 11.43 a.m. Eastern Time by web producer Liz Foreman. The headline reads, Plane lands in Cleveland. Bomb feared aboard. A Boeing 767 out of Boston made an emergency landing Tuesday at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport due to concerns that it may have a bomb aboard, said Mayor Michael R. White. United identified the plane as Flight 93. The conspiracy theory, in fact, is the idea that Osama bin Laden had something to do with the attacks of September 11th. Let's not forget that on September 23rd of 2001, Condoleezza Rice, National Security Advisor, had stated that they had evidence that linked bin Laden with the terrorist attacks and that they would release that evidence in due time. Well, America and the world are still waiting for that evidence. And in that time since September 11th, we've launched not one, but two wars in Afghanistan and Iraq based upon no evidence or a conspiracy theory. Our war is against evil, not against Islam. We don't hold any religion accountable. We're fighting evil. What we've seen on this video should give us all cause to stop and rethink everything that we've been told about September 11th. The media and our government have relentlessly pounded into Americans' minds that it was terrorists wielding box cutters that were responsible for the attacks in America on September 11th. And now after seeing this video footage, we realize that it couldn't possibly have been a terrorist and a box cutter that would have created the flashes on both the North and South Tower. Nor could it have been a terrorist with a box cutter that had that attachment to the bottom of Flight 175. There is one truth that's come out of this, though, and that is that there is a war on freedom. But the war on freedom isn't being waged by those that they say it is. After all, how many of your freedoms have been legislated away by Osama bin Laden or the Taliban or Al-Qaeda or Saddam Hussein? The answer is none. Your freedoms have been legislated away by the very people who take oaths to defend your freedoms. Republicans and Democrats alike your Congress, your Senate, your President. There is a war on freedom. And now, thanks to the Homeland Security Bill, the Patriot Act, the Terrorist Bill, the Model States Emergency Health Powers Act, we have thumb scanners and retina scans and face recognition, metal detectors. At the airports, we have body scans and body cavity searches. Yes, there is a war on freedom. And let's not forget what George Bush had said in regard to conspiracy theories. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories concerning the attacks of September the 11th. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists situation and a much better evacuation and and these and these people
Legend Bunker on fire. If you're we're get ready. Fire, we are getting ready for the next battle. Remember this. Your government funded and trained Al Qaeda. For yeah. being in the And now I ask all of America and the people of the world, where's your line in the sand? <laughs>